Am I live? Hey guys. Alrighty. Good morning. Um, I hope you guys are having a giving, having a good Saturday. Mm. FYI, in the chat, I'm going to have Tiffany, who's helping me um, answer questions and also kind of keep me in check. So if she, if I act like I'm speaking to myself, going wild, like, Shireen, you got to wrap it up. It's not me talking to myself. It's Tiffany talking to me as me. Just FYI, because I have both of my hands here and I cannot do this while typing. So good morning. Good morning. I figured let's do our morning skincare routine together. Um, and answer all of your questions. This is a live shopping event. Do not ask me how it works, but you can pretty much um, shop the products while I'm getting ready, while we're talking about them. So any questions you guys have, we can answer them directly. Um, hi, Angel Marwa from South Africa, Lily, Ramiya, Lisa, all of you guys. I'm very excited to be here with you. So I'm going to just, for the sake of making this um, complete, we're going to start with the flash mask. Very honestly, I never do this in the morning. This is one that I reserve for the nighttime. But before we even jump into jumping in, um, I want to show you guys an update to our packaging. So when we launched, um, I had a different quote on the side of the box because I was trying to tie in my story. Um, needless to say, it was misperceived as me claiming it did something it does not. So I did not want to cause any murky water there. I didn't want to be in that. So I changed it. And the new quote says, brighten up, buttercup. <laughs> Let's get even. So hope you guys enjoy the new quote on the box. I think you guys... I. I wish the camera would flip over, but I don't know. But this is the new quotes on the box. So if you notice a change, um, it's because it is different. So this is the flash mask. Now I'm only doing this for you guys in the morning uh, because I'm showing you guys how I do it. I do probably put like on average six to eight pumps for my whole face. I do not rub it in. I apply it in a thin layer all around. Um, so that was six. This is now eight, including my forehead. And then I'm going to show you guys something um, because you guys know that I love lip basting. Normally, I use around a 10% glycolic acid peel on my lips. That's still very strong for the lips. This is even stronger. So if you have a history of cold sores, do not do this. Avoid. If you've never had a history of cold sores and you don't know, bottoms up, let's find out. But I sometimes put it on my lips a little bit. Now, the reason I'm going to put it on my lips today for you guys is because I'm only going to leave the mask on for like five minutes, just because for the sake of time, for the sake of, um, you know, just kind of getting this show going. And it's not that exciting to watch somebody sit with a um, mask on their face. Um, but I do uh, leave it on 20, 30 minutes. And very honestly, Pillow Talk Derm is never going to um, publicize this, but I leave it on overnight. So once a week, I will put it on overnight and I'll sleep with it. And you must think, wait, does your skin not get dry? Mm -mm -mm. It wakes up softer, more supple and more hydrated the next morning because it is loaded in panthenol. So we talk about the flash mask and we focus on the glycolic acid at 15% the lactic acid at 3% because those are the exfoliating acids that people are traditionally used to. And I think you do need to know those percentages so that you don't overdo it with other products in your routine. There is tranexamic acid in there to help minimize um, melanin production because the whole line is geared towards that. But it's also loaded in just the right amount of panthenol, which is a vitamin B5 that holds on to moisture that minimizes transepidermal water loss. Think of Pantene Pro-V. It's great also for hair. I would not tell you to use the mask on your hair, but panthenol is a great one. So I do sleep with it. And last week, a patient of mine came in and told me she uses it on her neck and chest, which I've never actually done. I don't know why. And so I have tried it on my neck and chest overnight. And it is, I mean, perfection. I shower in the morning, um, but it's really, really nice. Why do I have redness around your cheeks? Where? Am I red? No, see, I just took a really hot shower. I do get a little bit flushed. Um, while the mask is going on, 
it does tingle. And there are days where it tingles more than others. Very honestly, I think it has to do with like your skin barrier and how inflamed it is. And that's why you get the tingling. Otherwise, there are days where it doesn't tingle at all. And it doesn't upset me at all. It's actually kind of reassuring when I'm like, oh, maybe it's something, you know, my skin is in a healthier state. We do not really know, but it has to do with the pH of your skin. So that's the best theory that I could come up with, to be very honest. Um, but it's a beautiful product to have in your routine. So this is what I do at night. And I let it also sit on my lips for the morning for you guys um, while we are lip basting. Um, so twice on for 15 minutes and once overnight for the week, Yusuf Larzali. Yes, that is what I do. Um, I have sensitive skin, so less is more for you. Claudia, absolutely. If you are sensitive, five minutes is what I would tell you to try it with, not more than that. If you're not sensitive, you can definitely start dipping your toes and trying it, you know, a little bit more. Um, Paulette, don't be anxious to try it. It's like you're not glued to it. You could totally wash it off. If you're scared, do it for three minutes even and see how you do. Um, any peptides in any of your products, Ismail, we're going to get to that because our products do have peptides, but not this one. Um, do we ship yet to the UK? We do not yet ship internationally. And I just want to quickly talk on this one very quickly. We have linked um, third party shipping companies that will ship it from the US abroad on our Instagram. I think we have it on our website as well. I'm not 100% sure there, Tiffany. Please correct me if I'm wrong. But the reason why, and I'll be very honest, we cannot yet ship internationally is several fold. One, we want to fortify our team internally. I'm not, I'm self-funded, so it's not a massive team at all. And we're trying to make sure that the US operation is like tight. We know how we're running. We know how we're working. We're making sure people here are getting their orders and everything is super streamlined. That's like the first thing you have to learn how to like get up before you walk. Second, in the US, I'm still trying to figure out what is the supply and the demand, you know, like we just launched. So I don't know how much of this I need to keep ordering to just have a healthy state and a healthy balance. Once you open up internationally, it's going to change those numbers. And I, I, I don't know how much to invest up front in that. And so it's self-funded number two, you know, so how much are we investing? What is the healthy state for the US, etc.? Boring answers. But number three, um, very honestly, is taxes. I don't want you guys to get taxed up the wazoo with being, things being imported from abroad. So we would have to probably get a warehouse in that area where we are shipping to. So it's a lot of things that I never knew as like a lay person. I was like, can't you just ship it, like put it in the mail and ship? But it doesn't work that way. Um, when you are trying to be organized, streamlined, and have really good customer service. Um, you saw a huge difference while using uh, Major Fade. Sarah, I'm so excited. I'm gonna, if my cousin lets me, I'll share her pictures as well. She sent them to me. She has acne. She's in Lebanon. She is treating it with medication as well, but she has very little residual hyperpigmentation, which is amazing. Um, but that is because we also have anti-inflammatory ingredients in our products. I will get to that once I put on the serum. Let me wash my face for two seconds because this way we can get the show going. But the other ingredients that we have are anti-inflammatory ingredients that are redness reducing. So I put a makeshift desk here. This is normally not here, but I figured I could sit. So I'm going to just quickly... Okay. Mask is off. It tastes lemony. When you put it on your lips and you wash it off. Um, so yeah, that's it. Mask is totally off. Washed it off. I wash it with water. I don't go crazy with the cleanser. You can actually kind of just feel it slowly come off as you're washing it. Um, not a big deal. To, to keep things interesting for you, my routine usually takes two seconds, but I'm going to make it a little bit longer today for fun, for shits and giggles. But before I do my skincare, I draw my eyebrows. I learned this trick from a makeup artist that I interviewed on One Night Stand. It allows your brows to stick longer during the day when you apply it on very dry skin without any product there. It, the, the makeup will not swish around. But before I do that, to keep it more skincare related, I want to show you guys the hack that I've been talking about. If you do not have access to eye patches, 
I take a drop of the hyper serum. This is a brand new one, so it took a second to load. Okay. And I apply like a nice coating of the hyper serum under my eyes. And then I get ceramic. Now, if you have um, eye patches, obviously reusable ones, that's much more environmentally friendly. If you are in a bind and you don't have them um, or you can't afford them or whatever it is, um, you can take very little serum wrap, like very little, like this is it, a tiny little thing and let it sit for five minutes while you draw your eyebrows before you do the rest of your routine. And it just helps to plump that area. So before I jump into my skincare routine, which will be the hyper serum, I'm gonna just let this sit just to kind of like absorb a little bit better. Yes, I do put it under the eyes. I actually even put it above the eyes, but I don't wanna do it before I do my um, eyebrow pencil. And so I use the Kevin O'Quill, and I've never really done this by looking at myself on a camera. And I do not have a mirror in front of me. This is gonna be interesting, guys. So this is kind of what I do. I draw backwards and I fake my eyebrows. I totally fake them because I over plucked when I was younger. Um, and I just kind of get them going. Here you go. Another little thing I kind of discovered this week, I also interviewed the founder of Color Wow, who has this powder for white hair. Um, and so I put a little bit of that, you guys, I'll show you. And then... Okay, hold. You want to see this? Let me show you something. I get. Just bear with me. So it's this. It's the Color Wow um, Light Brown Root Cover Up. So it's actually great if you don't want to buy an eyebrow pencil. This is one that you could do two for one. And I just kind of just lightly, it gets any little hairs and it adds fluff and dimension to your eyebrows. I don't know why anybody would want to over pluck their eyebrows. I've seen that craze on TikTok of like no more eyebrows. Like why? Eyebrows frame your face from a cosmetic standpoint. And you can really fake proportions, but love using this on it. Um, and very lightly. It's really nice. Uh, et voila, that's it. So I kind of do this and I put a little bit of an eyebrow gel. This is one by Live Tinted, just to kind of get it going. Not bad for using a camera. I've never done this, not without a mirror. So once my eyebrows are set and in for the day, um, I then go in and take off the Seren Wrap. What Seren Wrap did I use? No, it's not pre-cut, it's from Costco. We buy them, we have it at home. I don't, I try not to use it, but we definitely have it with little kids. Um, it comes in handy. And I just, little, I cut two tiny pieces as I did it. Um, so that is what I do. I'll give you guys the tip on bigger eyes in a second. So this is exactly how I do my eyebrows. So now we're gonna talk about the hyper serum. I will gonna take off the serum wrap right now. It's been like a couple of minutes. Um, this is a much longer routine than I normally do. My eyes definitely feel so much more hydrated and just kind of like dewy and ready to go. And for my face, I go literally, I don't touch my face with it. I just let it drop on my face. One, two, three, four. And I just apply. Easy peasy. Very, very simple. I will come up here on my upper eyelids. I will come here inside my inner corner of my eye. Why do I do that? Because I don't have pigmentation. I do that because I have redness. And the hyper serum is my... J'adore. It has a complex called diglucosyl gallic acid, which helps minimize inflammation and redness in the process. It is beautiful. The way it also helps with pigmentation is that it inhibits UV sunlight, triggering hyperproduction of melanin. So it minimizes how much you make from the sun if you have inflammation, if you have acne, if you have breakouts. I have a small little pimple here. So it keeps your pigment production at bay while calming your inflammatory process, so calming the redness. So I use it here because I am usually red. Um, I have a lot of allergies, so I put it around my eyes. It does help to calm with the redness, and I put it all over my face. I put four drops. That is it. What else is in here? Um, 
we have 5% niacinamide. You do not need to double dip niacinamide with the rest of your products. 5% is all you really need. Um, you really do not need anything more. It also has alpha arbutin, which is a precursor to hydroquinone. It also has, um, Charlotte, will you be shipping to Canada soon? No, we will not. And then it also has squalane. So squalane traditionally is derived from animals. Ours is plant-based. We actually got Leaping Bunny certified. Super excited. They're not on the newest packaging because we got it after we had printed our boxes, but we are Leaping Bunny certified um, because our, everything is plant-based and nothing is derived from animals. Um, and so we're very proud of that. But it has squalane and squalane is basically the hydrogenated version of squalene. And it is basically saturated oil that is much more skin friendly. It's better for hydration. It's better for um, keeping that moisture into your skin, minimizing any transepidermal water loss. But it's also an antioxidant that also helps minimize that free radical damage that is made from pollution, outside factors, the sun, you name it. Um, so it's a really nice one. And there is kojic acid. So this is the hyper serum. I want to show you guys something that a lot of you guys did not know. And I want to talk about the packaging about this. But while I talk about the packaging, I'm going to lip based. I have my nipple cream, <laughs> which I have not do not use on my nipples. But any mother who is breastfeeding uh, currently knows what I'm talking about. Uh, if you know, you know, but I'm going to put a nice thick coating of this on my lips because I just exfoliated them. Um, so I'm definitely going to let this sit for a couple of minutes. I will not take it off. Um, so let's talk about the packaging of the hyper serum. So the hyper serum comes in this pen. There's going to be a second cartridge. Do I, oh, I don't have the box in front of me. Do I have one there? No, I do not. When your hands are a little bit wet, and moisturize, it is a little bit hard to pull this out. So I would tell you to do this before you have any moisturizer on your hands, but you pop it out. This is what you're going to replace. But before you replace it, I want you guys to open it from the top because sometimes there is a little bit of product left behind. And I do not want you guys wasting any product because this is really very effective stuff. Every last drop is expensive to make. I really, 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 really did my best to make it affordable. And my husband is a financial mind. And he's like, Shireen. And I was like, I believe that when the product is good, people are going to see the results. They're going to want to come back. They're going to want to buy it again. And we're going to be fine in the long run. We might take a hit in the short run, but in the long run, we're going to be fine. So do not waste the product, please, because it's coming out of my bank account. <laughs> okay. Um, but legit. You open it just like this. Now, this is a fresh tube, so it's full. Do not do this before you finish it because I do not want this oxidizing. So I'm doing it to show you guys. But all you got to do is that. That's it. You don't have to close it afterwards. You can, and I'll show you. All you got to do is snap it back into place. Voila. And other little trick, you can get the product out just by clicking that down if you don't want to use the pen. You literally could just do that. Um, so that is what I always want you guys to do before replacing your cartridges. All right, please open it. Please open it. Please see if there's anything behind. Every last drop is just like loaded, okay? An active that I fought for. So don't just throw it, all right? Um, and then when you wanna replace it, take the cap off, pop it in. You line up this guy with this, right? And then you press down. And when you press down, some product might come out. I do not lock it every day. I genuinely do not. It's annoying. And my hands, when they're moisturized, like I said, it's annoying. So I don't. Um, but what I do do is just leave it open and leave it on my counter. If I travel, I'll lock it so that nothing hits it. Um, nothing hits it and nothing is going to make something come out of this. Do you? Can you store it in the fridge? You can if you want. No problem. How do I pop it out? How do I take it out? I literally my hands are moisturized again it's a little difficult grab a kleenex pull the top out that's it all right will refills be available soon we are currently working on that to try to figure out the logistics of it when you have a refill you technically have a new product from our perspective so it becomes making sure we have enough manpower that the warehouse can handle it that we can make sure that the whole supply chain works etc even though it makes in normal people's world it's like can't you just sell the cartridge. I know, 
Trust me, I know. Um, so yeah, that is the hyper serum. I absolutely love it. I put it all around my eyes. I actually do. You see how it just like your eyes just get nice and like mm, plump and yummy with it. Um, and I do make sure that I use four drops or so for my whole face. Um, at night, I will usually put this on first and then use the retinol. Um, or it doesn't really matter. I use the retinol and then I use this. It really doesn't matter. The only time the retinol matters is when you are sensitive. If you're super sensitive, I would say use the retinol after you use the serum and the moisturizer. And if you're not sensitive, you can use the retinol before the serum and the moisturizer. It doesn't really make a difference, to be very honest. So, ça c'est le hyper serum. I was going to say the flesh mask. But this is my favorite. Love her love her and I love the packaging and I know like it's just ugh, it just reminds me of what I do I love it I love the cartridges the reason you have two is because normal serums are around like 25 to 30 mls on the market and each one of this is 15 ml each cartridge and so obviously I want to be competitive but the real reason is because I wanted to make sure the product stays fresh it is not open to the light. It is not open to the air. It is completely sealed off. And once you open it and you're done with one, you know that the second one that you have is mm, going to be done. Why is a pill the logo? Great question, Sarah. Um, no one's ever asked me, and I've always wondered why no one has asked me. Um, but pill otoc derm. And I'm a doctor. I'm a dermatologist. And we prescribe a lot of medications, a lot of pills, etc. But the pill was also kind of bridging the chat bubble from talking and social media and medicine, like pills and doctors, people think of them synonymously. And the chat bubble, instead of making like a round chat bubble, we made it in the form of a pill because it's also in the word pillow. Um, so that is why um, we have that form and that shape. So it's a bridge between pillow talk, pills and medicine, and like the social media world. Um, no one has ever asked me that. So thank you for asking me that. I thought it was so obvious. Maybe that's why, but I guess not. Okay. So my lips are nice and juicy. My face is nice and dewy. And now we put the moisturizer and we put the sunscreen and we're done. I could show you guys my makeup if you want. If on this Tiffany tells me I gotta hurry that up. Okay. So moving on, we have the major fade active seal. So this is more than just a moisturizer. And what do I mean by that? When I think of a moisturizer, like I think of basic, I think of Kiehl's Ultra Facial, I think of Tatcha, I think of Triple Lipid, I think of, if you guys like CeraVe, CeraVe, like that's what I mean by moisturizer, basic hydrating moisturizers, things that are going to help lock in moisture, right? But this is more than that. It does all of those things while helping your skin. So it is a two for one. If you have a vitamin C in your current regimen that you're not in love with, or you're just annoyed that you have an extra vitamin C step, you no longer need one with the active seal. Does that mean it's just a vitamin C moisturizer? No, because there's even more than just vitamin C. So on the box, we highlight a few. The vitamin C that we have is not a pure vitamin C. It's a vitamin C ester, which is tetrahexyl decyl ascorbate. Um, it is one that I love. It is one, we have it at the concentration that you need for a daily dose of antioxidant protection. It is enough to protect you throughout the day. Um, I no longer use CE Ferulic. CE Ferulic, I would smell like a hot dog. I would get annoyed that it would turn orange. I hated the, I hate the packaging to be very honest with you. So I love the product and I'm like, they could do this so much better and they just haven't. Um, and that's why I would use the Floritin CF, which would come in the little pump. Um, but this is what I use every day for my vitamin C. You need to have a vitamin C underneath your sunscreen every morning because it makes it work better for you. And studies have shown that. Okay. So, and you can use it at night as well. I do not know when this rule came about that you only have to have vitamin C in the morning. And very honestly, I think it comes from the food industry where people are so brainwashed to thinking they need to drink orange juice and have vitamin C in the morning that the skincare industry, FYI, always follows the food industry if you haven't noticed. And it kind of has been like something that has followed through in terms of marketing. Um, 
Think about it. When mushrooms were hot, all of a sudden you had all this mushroom and skincare, like Avino. When greens were hot, all of a sudden certain people who claim they're doctors, but they're not really doctors, had like purslane and kale in their products. And you even have kale cleansers now when kale was hot. So I do think marketers get their cue from the food industry and they're just like, okay, vitamin C in the morning. It's easier for people to understand. You can put lemons, you can put oranges and a blue sky and people get it. Um, but you can use it at night. You can totally use it at night. Seven minutes to wrap it up. Okay, so this is what this has. It also um, it also has, hold on, okay? Because I do want to talk about this. Um, I talked to you guys about the dicyclical gallic acid in the hyper serum, but this one has 4-butyl resorcinol, which helps fade discoloration. It has hexapeptide 2. Somebody asked me if my products have peptides. This one has hexapeptide 2, which is, I'm reading it to make sure there's no other one, because I know we did not put all of them in the skin nerd facts. We did not put that all of them in the skin nerd facts. So you guys can read more about them on the pillow talk germ glossary, but hexapeptide 2 does minimize how you make pigmentation while protecting your skin from reactive oxygen species. It is also known as derma, dermostasis 2S, but it blocks the alpha melanocyte stimulating hormone. So it really does help color as well as help with the appearance of fine line and wrinkles. Love it. Okay. It's a peptide that I genuinely love. But the thing that we did not talk about on the skin nerd fact on this is fact, fact on this is that it has ceramides. We have three different types of ceramides in here, ceramide NP, AP, and EOP. And those help to really be the glue that holds your skin cells together to make sure that your skin barrier stays intact. Okay, so it's not just a vitamin C. It's not just a basic moisturizer. It's a moisturizer marrying actives that are going to protect your skin throughout the day. Now, the format of this moisturizer is one that is not super thick. It is a hybrid between a gel moisturizer and a cream because I wanted all skin types, whether you're oily, dry, in between, to be able to use it. If you're super dry, you can supplement it by using a thick cream on top. If you're oily, it's probably just enough. And I want to also point out on the box, and we did correct this. Initially, I said dispense two to four pumps because it was before we had finalized the packaging. It's really one to maximum two pumps. In fact, I use half a pump on my face in the morning just because I might put makeup afterwards and I do not want to have too much things layered on my face. And I use another half a pump on my neck. So it's a whole pump total, but I'm using it break, broken up between my face and my neck. And that's all my skincare routine is. It's literally, genuinely, wash my face, hyper serum, active seal, sunscreen, and I go. I made it a little bit more interesting for you guys today, just to make it more interesting now. I'm going to get some of that nipple cream off my face. Uh, Tiffany is typing for me because I'm using my hands and talking to you guys. Um, so you do not need more than a pump for your face, your neck, and it can even kind of slide a little bit below. Now, everything else I put on the back of my hands. You can definitely, this is something my mom did because she didn't, she's, my mom is like a skincare dummy and I say that with love. She didn't know how to use this. So she thought she would take a drop and put it on spots and it's actually genius. So she put them on her sunspots on the back of her hands and they're, they've been fading and she leaves them throughout the day. She doesn't really go out and she does wear sunscreen. Um, you can put it on pimples, on spots if you're sensitive and you just want to put them on the pimples and you can put them on your face, on your lips for like three, four minutes. Just a little extra tip, which I forgot to mention about the flash mask. So this is why the moisturizer is the way it is. It comes in a jar. I'm going to open an old one. I do not want to open this one because I don't want to expose it to air because it will break up faster. Okay, so there is one that I have, which is actually like very old. Um, it's a very old one. And I've kept it just to kind of like, because I didn't want to reuse it and I just wanted to see. But the way you guys can use this when you're done same like with the hyper serum don't throw the hyper serum cartridge don't throw this don't throw this for many reasons you can twist it you can twist it you can open it one of my biggest pet peeves that i hate is like when somebody takes a product and i'm going to use it for this one because it's not mine is they take the cream and they go oh moisturizer and they put there with the back of their Ugh. like i just get grossed out i don't know i don't know Okay, it grosses me out. So I just don't like jars. I like get your nails like out of the jar. Like, don't do it. Ugh. Okay, so you can open it when you're done 
and we can see if there's anything left behind. This is very old. This is a very old one that's been opened several times. The fresh cream looks very different than this. I will open it just for the sake of showing you guys. It makes me sad. I just got this one from the box, but it's okay. I'll be done with this in like three weeks. Okay, so it's very different. It's thicker, it's a cream, but the air can definitely break down a cream when it is exposed to light air and oxygen, especially when it is loaded with actives. I opened it for you, Hilda. Okay, I opened it for you, but I'm gonna just use this one and like be done with this. But this is the difference between a properly packaged product and one that has been opened and let to be exposed to air and light. So don't open it until you're at your last pump and you're like, oh, I'm done, I'm sad, I'm depressed. Open it, scoop it up and finish it. Now the other thing that you can do, and I'm gonna do it with the crappy one that's been open for a long time, is once you've opened it and you're done, you can pop this guy out, toss this, recycle it. And if you really want, you can keep this as a jar or a container, just clean it. You know, Try to use your packaging to have a bigger life than the packaging is meant to have. In the future, God willing, if you can, you know, I just need to like, these, you can land on the fucking moon, but you can't figure out a refill. We're gonna make a refill. Um, I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna make it. Okay. I'm gonna go there and just design it myself with them. But the reason why they don't want to make them is because they don't have the right. It costs a lot of money. Money is unfortunately the root cause of all of our problems. But we're happy, so it doesn't matter. So anyway, hopefully one day we're gonna have a refill for this. Okay. Um, but I did think about it. I was like, how do we make this like multi-use, multi-purpose, simplifying people's lives without overburdening them? So this is my Crapola one. I don't use, I have it as a demo. This is the good one. Um, do not open it, okay, please. So then once I'm done, I slap on some sunscreen. Let's see what I have, okay? Let's see what I have, let's see what I have, let's see what I have, oh, okay. We have here is then. Okay, this is Erifotona Ageless. It is their SPF 30. It's a mineral sunscreen. It is tinted with zinc oxide. Um, so this is kind of what I do. I literally go like this. It is a watery one, you know, so I go two full fingers, kind of like that. And then I always do my warrior paint, boom, 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 boom you know, um, kind of like this. It's tinted, so it does stain a little bit if you don't, once you're done, you should wash your hands or really make sure you don't touch anything white. Le bonheur. That's all I do. You know, I might put a little bit extra on the, my neck, but if I do that now, I'm going to get like, it's like tinted, so it does, you have to let it dry. Um, so have you noticed any pilling when using sunscreen? I've noticed if I overdo the active seal, if I'm putting too much, because I at first I was like obsessed, I was putting so much, it can, because there's a lot of actives in my product. So it can, and that's what pilling is, is when it evaporates and the actives are let to sit on your skin and it evaporates. When I use one uh, half a pump of the active seal, I don't notice the pilling. I've also noticed pilling depending on the sunscreen that I'm using. Sunscreens that are really rich in silicone will pill more because they swim over my products. So it really depends on the type of sunscreen. With the ISDIN, I've been totally fine. With um, Beauty of Joseon, I've been fine. With the Glow Screen, I've been fine. Um, it just depends how much I use and allowing things to kind of dry a little bit in between. So normally I'm in my towel, I come out of the shower, I put the hyper serum, I go get dressed, I come back, I put the active seal, um, I brush my hair, I do everything, I put the sunscreen and then I kind of go. Um, my makeup routine is pretty minimal. I could do it for you guys really quick. Um, so literally I take, what is this? Uh, ivory concealer, clé de peau, kind of go like this, you know, just kind of like get it in there. I have allergy season, so this part gets a little bit red um, around my nose and a little bit raw. So I just kind of go like this, but I actually don't put so much on my lower face because I'm honestly in a mask all day. Um, so I don't want to, you know, I don't want to put in a mask and makeup in a mask. Like that. So that is what I do. Okay, <laughs> that is it. Um, if I'm looking to be a little bit shiny or shimmery, I'll use the Laura Mercier uh, Tinted Moisturizer with SPF 30 and I'll kind of add a little bit here, um, but I don't really want to do that, it's a weekend. Um, I always like to shine on my eyelids. Huda Beauty, you guys can tell I've used this one, it's really just broken, but I, I'll take, let's, let's sparkle today. Um, I'm gonna show you guys, I go like this. I don't really use brushes. I have Katie Jane Hughes brushes, 
but I would be doing her a disservice if I acted like I knew what I was doing with them. Um, so this is what I do. This is the pastel. Tiffany will link them. I think you guys can shop while I'm talking. Um, but literally, that's kind of what I do. Sometimes if I'm really feeling like, okay, let's act like I really know what I'm doing, I'll take a little bit of this and I'll go like that. <laughs> that's me feeling, mm. okay, so that's what I do. And then, and then, and then, and then, always eyeliner, always mascara, okay? And the way I do my eyeliner, this is by Kat, KVD. KVD, it's no longer Kat Von D. Kat, KVD Tattoo Liner, it's in brown. Um, and then I go like this. Yeah, the, it's a tinted SPF, so I don't really, that's it, that's all I do. And then I go like this, and I go. It's so hard to do it on a, on a, on a camera screen. Hold on. Okay, hold on. Oh, yeah. Okay, Tiff, you said, yeah. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, Tiff. Don't text me while I'm doing eyeliner, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Let me go like that. Uh, I fucked it up. I always go backwards. She's stressing me out. She's texting me. That one mess up. Well, no, I fixed it. Let me fix this one. Voila, boom, done. And then you always line the inner lashes so that it looks fuller, you know? But that is what I do. Profesh. Mm, 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 okay? Snatched. Et voila. And then I'm obsessed with Tower 28, their Make Waves Mascara. You guys just watched me put, this is a party trick. I'm not even going to look, but I can put mascara with it. I'm looking out the window. The founder of Tower 28 was shocked when I was doing this at a dinner. But I don't need to look at a mirror to put on mascara. <laughs> Just like that. I don't wear lipstick because, again, I'm in a mask all day. And also, I always feel like I lick my lips and bite my lips. And that's why I have issues with my lips being dry. Um, but that is my makeup routine. <laughs> Um, et voila. Uh, that is it. This is how I get ready every day. Um, I'm going to tell you guys really very, very quickly. Tretinoin, I talked about how you incorporate it. If you have melasma, you definitely need a hydroquinone prescription. The hydroquinone prescription you would use at night before the serum and the moisturizer. And um, is my battery dying? Nope. I don't know why the, the thing is. Um, uh, et voila. And that is our Saturday morning getting ready together. I hope you guys learned about the major fade system. I hope you learned about the packaging, about the ingredients. You can go to pillowtalkderm.com and buy it now. We are in stock and we are back. Um, and you can read about the ingredients in our ingredient glossary. Love you guys. We will do more lives. 95% of you guys want more lives. It's more fun for me to interact with you guys this way anyway. And yes. I will see you guys later because we're getting Saturday morning vibes together. <laughs> I don't know how to use it yet. Have a great day. Namaste. Ciao. I did not meditate today, so maybe I'll go meditate after this. Thank you. Bye. Eyeliner is pretty good, Tiff. You didn't mess it up.